Everything about this guy is funky. Um, he's an international citizen who travels all over the world, speaks many languages, and is Sorman Nilsson. I'm Swedish, and when you think Swedish, what do you think of? IKEA, yes, flat packed brains and all of that, yes. Saab, porn, th thank you. So. <laughs> the world has changed. In fact, it's gone a little bit out of whack. Who remembers the good old days when a blackberry was just a fruit? 45% of Australian males now moisturize. How's your brain keeping up? Change doesn't care whether you like it or not. It happens without your permission. I have a firm belief that in this wacky world, we actually need to funky up our thinking. Well, if we're always having to think outside the box, what does it actually say about the box? Mayday, 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 mayday. We are sinking, we are sinking. <coughs> what are you thinking about? But I failed to kind of stop and spot the riptide I was just about to jump into. And I think all of us have had maybe an opportunity uh, or an experience to be kind of stuck, whether physically or mentally in an economic riptide or perhaps swimming outside the flags during the global financial crisis. And of course, when a motivational speaker has a near-death experience, we go, you beauty, a new metaphor to use for trend spotting. I don't actually believe it's about being more left brain or more right brain though. Yeah, I actually think we need to rewire our thinking, just like a design thinker would say, it's not about form or function. Because they've realized that innovation happens at that intersection of thought. When you cross fertilize ideas from different spaces is when you get some magic. And the style of your thinking is what gives you the competitive advantage. The wilder, wackier, and funkier you're thinking, the better positioned you are for success in the 21st century. Why thinking? Well, thinking is the F word of innovation. We all swear by it. Sometimes we curse it. And we all like to say we do it more often than we actually do. It's not a naughty word anymore. In fact, it is the ultimate in change management. Trends kind of inform which innovation choices we should be making, because they're really the ones that bring the future to the present. It's combinatory play and exploring the kind of dynamics between opposable ideas. This is the recession Gen Y had to have, which I disagree with, and I say so they can become as cynical as the rest of the world. I think it's the misfits in your organisation that actually do things differently. So what we're going to be doing here this morning is kind of serve up a few little espresso shots of ideas. The great philosopher Winnie the Pooh once said, have you ever stopped to think and forgotten to start again? Because I think at some point or another, as we were swimming outside the flags on an unguarded beach in an economic riptide, we all kind of stopped to think but some of us forgot to start again. I'd like to encourage all of you to go out and be agent provocateurs, to be sticky beaks for the unexplored, and to come up with rip-snorting ideas that have real chutzpah. Because your world will change, 
And that's exactly how it is meant to be.